My story is about my most memorable sexual experience. Uh, I was asked what it was recently, and the person was asking, you know, what was the most mind-blowing sex you've ever had? And I feel like that's not always the most memorable sexual experience. When I was 18, I had just moved into the dorms, and I started talking to this girl. Things were going well. We went to a party, we had a few drinks, and we started hooking up. Brought her back to my room. And about five minutes into being in my room, started hooking up, she puts her hand on my chest, she says, Steven, I don't want you to think I'm weird, but I'm about to have a seizure. Yeah, this shit was not funny at the time. She's like, Steven, I don't want you to think I'm weird. Weird would have been, you said, hey, Steven, put your dick in this toaster. That would have been weird. This is a medical emergency. She's like, Steven, don't freak out, don't freak out. It's early on in my sexual career. As far as I know, 20% of the girls I have sex with have seizures when I have sex with them. Does my dick give girls seizures? I don't know, man, this is, this is a lot to take in. She's like, Steven, calm down. I was like, cool, I'm calm. She says, but if it looks serious, I need you to call an ambulance immediately. If it looks serious, I don't know if any of you guys have ever had a naked girl have a seizure in your bed. The shit looks serious. So she has a seizure and I'm freaking out. And so I was like, okay. I call 911. I was like, hey, uh, 911, I just had sex with this girl. Now she's having a seizure. He's like, good for you, man. What the fuck was unprofessional, right? He's like, he's like, all right, well, good fucking aside, we'll be there in five minutes. My thought, Aubrey's not going to die on my watch. I'm going to get Aubrey dressed. I'm going to reduce the response time. So. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had to dress a naked girl having a seizure in your bed. Show of hands. <laughs> Not an easy task. It's like a fucked up carnival game, right? Your legs are going every which way and you're like, swing, miss, swing, boom, you get the pants on. Pants are easy, right? Now you gotta go for the shirt. But as I'm going to the shirt, my friend, my roommate that I just moved in with walks in. He thinks he's walking in on some reverse sexual assault. He's like, no means no. And I was like, I'm reducing response time. Somehow he understands what I'm talking about. Now we're both getting her dressed. And, and so it's just kind of like right hand in, right hand out, shake all about. It's like a hokey pokey dance. And so I finally get the shirt on and my roommate turns in her third base coach, open the door, she's like, dig, 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 dig. And so I'm running as fast as I can down the, down the hallway. I take the stairs, I don't take the elevator, I'm reducing response time, we discuss this. And I get down to the lobby, and the EMTs are walking in as I walk in, and I've got this like disco inferno just freaking out my arm, and I, I present her to the EMT, and he says, put her down, you fucking idiot, and go up to your room. And I was like, yo, I didn't expect a parade, but I was like the hero in that story, right? And he's like, put her down, go up to your room. I'm 18 years old, I'm drinking, I'm not dealing with it, right? So I go upstairs, and I'm laying in bed, and it's really messing with me, man. I'm like, yo, if anybody ever has a seizure on my watch, I need to know what to do, right? Like, this is a, like a knowledge base that I should have. And so I can't sleep. And I get on the computer, and uh, I want to figure this stuff out. So well, first I go on Facebook, I was like, hey, Aubrey, I had a great time tonight. Call me sometime, right? And then, <laughs> and then I go on WebMD, and I look up what to do when an individual is having a seizure. Rule number one. Never move an individual having a seizure. Right, so I fucked that up. <laughs> and so rule number two is keep your head stable. I'm having flashbacks, you running down the stairs, just go ahead, just flopping up and down. I, I could have killed her right there. And then the third thought is, is put something in her mouth that you can't bite through, like a wallet or something. So I'm saying, it's a big mistake. It's one of my most memorable sexual experiences. And it sticks with me. Right now, if I'm ever lucky enough to be getting a blowjob, my first thought is like, bitch, you think this is a game? I know what could happen. You seize up, chomp my dick right off. <laughs> Likewise, if I'm ever pleasuring a girl, she gets a little bit of a leg quiver, I'm reaching in my back pocket, I'm shoving a wall in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a mistake that I made. Uh, my name is Stephen Campbell. Thank you very much, guys.